Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Michael Rodor, the Next Gen Piston Fusing Piston Cup Racer number 39 from Cars 3. <clears throat> now before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Michael Rodor is a Next Gen Piston Cup Racer that is sponsored by Fusing and bears the number 39. And he had previously replaced the other, the previous fusing racer, Buck Baringley, and shares the same surname as Krusty Rodar, the Cars 1 Vinyl 2 Bay Piston Cup racer. It is unknown if these two are related or not. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Anyhow, during his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to attend, to participate in the Florida 500 at Flutter International Speedway of the 2017 Piston Cup season. And during his diecast releases, he, he was released in an 11, in, the, in an 11 pack, in a multi-pack, then, as a regular single in the of in 2019, and has been and in a two pack with Herb Kerbler. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his headlights and grill, and on the hood we've got the. Next Gen Fusing logo and number 39 on the top, no name signature. And on both sides we've got the black rims with white borderline circle trimmings and the exhaust pipes and the arrow underneath indicating a pity to lift, lift them up and the, the gas cap and the Fusing logo, and number 39, and the several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. The Fusing on the spoiler. And on both sides, we've got the rookie stripes and a number 39 underneath the tail lights and the VZ Fusing logo. And now let's pull up some of the other next view, other next gen racers. We've got Danny Suarez, Herb Kerbler, Conrad Camber. Cam Spinner, Eric Breaker, Paul Conrev, Richie Gunzit, Barry DePetal, Steve Slick LePage, and Kurt, also known as Kurt with the Bug Teeth. And now for the, some of the other fusing racers, we've got Ryan Shields and Buck Baronley. And so here we've got the evolution of team fusing racers in the Piston Cup. And now for a comparison. Let's start with Ryan Shields and Buck Baronley and... Michael Rodor himself. Gosh. Ugh, this is getting to reach. Hold on. Now let's pull up a little closer. There, that's, there, that's good. So now for a comparison. Here are some similarities and differences. Both race in the Piston Cup for using the corrective windshields and bear the number 39. But here are some differences. Angry, de angry determined facial expression. Happy expression. Angry determined facial expression. Stock car. Stock car. Next gen racer. 2006, 2005 logo. 2016 logo. And 
2017 logo. Old school Lightyear tires. Next gen Lightyear tires. Light year on front fenders. No light year on front fenders. Number thirty nine on headlights. No number thirty nine on headlights. Viewzine on trunk, viewzine on spoiler, rookie stripes, no rookie stripes, just the slogan, corrective windshields, and that's all I can say. Let's pull back a little closer, and that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Buzing Racer is your favorite? And which Next Gen Racer sharing Michael Rodar's body mold is your favorite also? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!